Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Smallitics channel. Today I'm bringing you a at home guided workout video. It's gonna be a little bit of strength, a little bit of getting our heart rate up and you don't need any equipment at all, just a mat or on your carpet. Shoes are optional, but probably recommended because we will have some higher intensity things. This is good for all fitness levels and it's gonna be awesome. Just to explain the format before we jump into it, there is gonna be three circuits and each of the three circuits is going to have three exercises. And instead of going for reps, we're gonna go for time. So we're gonna do 40 seconds of work for an exercise and then 15 seconds off to switch to the next exercise and we're gonna repeat each circuit two times through. So I'll run you through all the exercises and everything down on the mat and uh, I'll see you there. All right, you guys, so just starting to warm up. We're gonna start standing today. You're gonna bring one knee into your chest, give it a nice hug and switch sides. Just stretching our glutes, hamstrings. Starting to wake up the breath. Now you can bring it across your body diagonally, get more of a glute stretch here. Good, coming into quad stretch, you're gonna grab your foot, opposite hand in the sky, and come up on a tippy toe, switch sides. It's okay if you lose your bounds. Yeah. Working on just warming up extension of the lower body here. Extension of the ankle, the knee, and the hip. And also stretching the quads. A couple more. Good, hamstring scoops. One foot out in front, hinge at the hip, stretch the back of your leg. Reach down and then reach to the sky, nice big, elongating your body and switch legs. Incorporating that breath. into a lateral lunge. You're gonna reach the opposite foot for some windmills, opening up the hips, back and forth, toes facing one direction. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Just getting warmed up here. Now, in a lunge position, so both toes are facing one direction, you're gonna reach down, hands framing the feet, and we're just gonna open up to one side of the room. Good, back to center. Bring that hand to the inside of your foot, pivot the back heel to the ground, open up the hips, and rotate the body up to the ceiling on this side. Good, and make your way over to the other side. I'm gonna start by opening up the chest one side of the room. Good, bring that hand down to the inside of your foot, pivot the other heel, heel, back heel to the ground, open up to the other side of the room, opening up and rotating that chest to the ceiling. Good, back to standing, shake it all out, hand bring it into a jog. Nice little quick warm up here. Doing total body work today, so we wanna make sure everything is ready to go. Bring it into some light butt kicks. They don't have to be all out. Just picking up the feet a little bit. And some low high knees, nice and light. And back to the jog. And let's get those glutes fired up. We're gonna come down low, in and out right here. In and out. In and out, squeezing the core into the belly button, firing the glutes, in and out. Back to the jog, and relax, shake it out, grab a sip of water. We're gonna start the workout. Okay, so like I said, we are doing these exercises for time, not for reps. So just follow my lead and we'll go through each exercise 
take it one exercise at a time. I have my Tabata timer here, even though this isn't a Tabata workout per se, but we're using time. So I'm gonna put it all in play. Now I'll walk you guys through the exercise. So the first exercise we have is a pike push-up, okay? So you're going to be in, start in the push-up position, and then bring your butt up into the air, walk the feet in a little bit closer. Hands are pretty wide out. The idea here is that you're doing a press, but you're working the shoulders more than the chest, okay? So you're trying to position your weight over your body. To make it easier, you're gonna make it more of a push-up. To make it harder, you'll make it more of a pike push-up. Okay, so that's the first exercise we have, and I want you guys to take it slow. We're gonna use tempo because we don't have weights. So you're gonna go slow count of three on the way down, slow count of three on the way up. Make it nice, slow, and controlled. All right, let's get started. All right, ready guys? In three, two, one. 40 seconds of work here. Nice, slow, and controlled. And count of three on the way down and up, keeping constant tension in the shoulders. Try not to let your shoulders come to your ears. You wanna keep them down and in the socket. Good job, you guys, keep it up. Halfway mark. Using that breath. You're gonna exhale as you push up. Ooh, I'm already feeling the burn. Inhale on the way down. Keep it up, guys. Coming up on 10 seconds left of work right here. And then we got a 15 second break. We're moving into tempo squats after this. Last one. Good. 15 seconds of rest. I'll show you guys the next exercise. We have a tempo squat. So squat position, feet are shoulder width apart. You're coming down nice and slow. Three, two, one and then three, two, one. You're never pausing at any point. Get ready, three, two, one. Here we go. Nice and slow, drive those knees out over the toes. Go as deep as you can. It's okay if you can't get full squat depth. Just go to where you can. Drive those knees out over your toes, like I said. And you wanna fire the glutes, squeeze the muscles. Imagine squeezing everything and holding tension. We're halfway through. Keep it up, you guys. Holding and squeezing. We've got 10 seconds left here. Driving those knees out to protect the knee. Keep the chest lifted, shoulders down. In three, two, one. Good, we've got 15 seconds. Next up, we have mountain climbers. So I just want you guys to be hands directly underneath the shoulder in alignment, and you're gonna be bringing your knees in like so, going with a controlled core. Here we go, three, two, one. Bringing those knees in, getting that heart rate up. Keep that belly button into the spine, keep that booty low. Let's go guys, you got it. Keep that core tight, put that booty down. Halfway mark. Peel those shoulders away from the ear. Keep it up. Don't forget to breathe. We've got 10 seconds left. You got it. In five, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. We're moving back into the pike push-ups one more time through this circuit. In five seconds, getting into position. Remember, nice, slow, and controlled. Three, two, one. Exercise. Here we go, going down nice and slow and pressing up nice and slow. If going slow is too much, you can do a little bit easier, bring the feet out and do more of a regular push-up. You can also do them from your knees and try to get more of your shoulders so you're at an angle. Whatever works for you guys. You want it to feel challenging, but doable. We got 15 seconds, you got this. Count of three, use that breath. Ooh, I'm shaking. These tempo exercises always give me. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Shake it out. In 10 seconds, moving into our tempo squats. Catch your breath right here. Starting in three, two, one. Exercise. Nice, slow, and controlled. Squeeze the glute. Holding tension. Slowing down movements is really how we get a good workout from home rather than speeding them up. It's really easy to think that we have to do more when we're home, but really the key is in being more intentional and doing less. 
We got 20 seconds, halfway mark right here. Keep breathing, 10 seconds. Keep it up, you guys. Holding that tension, squeezing that core, belly button just fine. In three, two, one, rest. Good. Last time we're gonna do mountain climbers. We're starting in five seconds. In three, two, one, exercise. Here we go, keep that belly button in, tight core. Bring those knees up. If you need to go slower, that's okay. All that matters is that you're doing something for these 40 seconds. Keep squeezing, you guys got it. Bringing those knees in. Halfway mark. Keep it up, team. We got 10 seconds left. Don't hold your breath. We got four, three, two, one. And rest. All right, you guys, we're gonna take a minute here. Catch your breath. We're gonna be moving on to our second circuit. Catch your breath. Let me know, you guys, if you're watching any good shows right now. We've actually, Gary and I have watched like so much less TV since we've been sort of self-quarantined. But we did start the third season of Ozark yesterday, which was, it's a commitment. It's such a show you can binge. But let me know if you guys are watching anything good right now. We're open to suggestions. All right, you guys, so moving into circuit two, the first exercise we're gonna be doing is a side plank knee drive. Well, let me show you what this looks like before we get started. So you are coming into this position for a side plank. Make sure your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. You're gonna be pressing up into a side plank. Feet are stacked, or if you have problems with balance here, that's okay. Put one foot out in front, stagger. Now, to take this to the next level, we're gonna be adding in a knee drive, nice control, squeeze the core, and bringing it back. Okay, this is a difficult variation, so if this is too hard, I just want you to try to hold the side plank position for this one, okay? All right, and ready. In four, three, two, one. Here we go, plank up, bringing that knee up for that knee drive, nice slow and controlled, and back. We're gonna switch at the halfway mark, so 20 seconds in, we'll switch sides. Keep those hips up in the air, Come on, you guys, hips up, hips, hips up. <laughs> in four seconds, we switch. Three, two, one. Roll and switch. Well, this side's easier for me. You guys will probably notice one side, your dominant side, is gonna be a little bit easier. It's still hard. Keep it up, you guys. Whatever variation you're doing, keep those hips elevated, lifted. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest, okay. Whew. Next up, we have some lateral bounds, okay, you guys? So we're not starting yet, you got 10 seconds. We're jumping back and forth. Nice power, explosiveness, okay? In three, two, one, here we go. Exercise. Try to stabilize when you land, using your legs. Exhale as you press off. Ooh, I feel it's in the booty. We're halfway there, you guys, keep it up. You got this. Keep breathing, going at your own pace. Keep being powerful here. 10 seconds, you got this. In five, four, three, two, and one. So my camera just died, so I'm not sweating anymore, but I'm back. We are back into the workout, just pretend. Nothing happens. We have a pause here. You guys are on a break a couple more seconds and then we're moving into single leg hip thrusts. Let me walk you through that. So you're starting on the ground, bring the belly button into your spine, squeeze the core. You're gonna be pressing through the heel up off the ground and we're gonna do one and a half reps, okay? So what does this look like? It's one down and a half rep down. At the 20 second mark, uh, I will let you know and we'll switch sides. So just starting here, here we go, working here. One and a half reps. So full hip extension, down, half. Full, half. Squeezing at the top, keeping constant tension, pressing through that heel, and switch sides. Pressing up, 
full, and then half. Full, half. You really should feel it in the glute and the core, getting those half reps in, extra burn in the booty. A lot of you guys said you want a booty workout, so there's a ton of glute work in here. Three seconds, and rest. All right, we got 15 seconds, and then we're moving into from the top again, starting with our side planks with our knee drive. In five, four, three, two, and one. Exercise. Here we go, bringing the knee up and back down. Keep those hips nice and high, back down. It's so funny, I always, my camera always says it has 100% battery. I guess I'm just like the worst YouTuber of all time because I never know and then it dies. In three, two, one, switch sides over to the other side. Keep those hips up, bringing that knee up. Keep breathing. Make sure that elbow is directly underneath the shoulder. Good form. Hips up, squeezing. A few more seconds, you guys. You got this. Two, one, rest. 15 seconds, catch your breath. We're moving into our lateral bounds. We only have two more exercises left in this circuit, so stay strong. Starting in four, Ooh, three, two, one. Exercise. Here we go. I love this exercise. Always gets my heart rate up, and it's not easy. If you have problems with your knees, you can do smaller jumps for this, less explosive. Really feeling it in the glutes. We're halfway there, you guys. Keep it up. You guys got this. Come on. We have five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Last time, last exercise. Shouldn't say last time because we're about halfway through the workout, but we have our last exercise in the circuit starting in five seconds. Get ready, three, two, one. Exercise. Press through the heel, down, half rep, okay? Full hip extension, squeeze, 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 down, half rep. Really working on keeping that muscle activated the whole time, squeezing the glutes. One more rep here, good, switch sides. Pressing through that heel, really should feel the burn in your glutes. And if you're struggling with a single leg here, put both feet down on the ground and you're just gonna do a regular hip thrust, okay? Keep it up, you guys. One and a half reps. Two, one, good. Rest a second here, you guys. We're gonna go into our third circuit, last circuit of the day. We're gonna do abs after that. We're gonna have be starting off with some tricep dips. So if you have a chair or you have a sofa, something available to you that you can put your arms on like so, we're gonna be dipping down, keeping those elbows in right here, okay? That's our first exercise that's up. I'll give you a few more seconds to rest. Make sure whatever you're gonna use to do the dips is stable. We're working our triceps in the back of our arm. All right, here we go, you guys. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, one. Exercise. Here we go. Ooh, my biceps are so sore. Yesterday, I did a upper body workout right here where I'm standing. And I'm so sore today. I feel like I'm more sore than I have been with my gym workouts. Just using tempo training, like going really slow, holding at certain bottom ranges of motion, like if you held here for a second, ooh, try it out, it's tough. We got 15 seconds, you guys, almost through this, keep it up. If you need to, you can bend your knees to make it easier, go ahead, up to you, either way. In five, four, three, two, and one. Take a second. While you're resting, I'll show you the next exercise. We have jump lunges, okay? So you're starting in the lunge position, switching the legs, keeping balance, jumping, back and forth in four, three, two, one. Exercise. Here we go, nice and light on the feet. Doesn't have to be super aggressive. If this is bothering you, you're gonna go for a quick step backs, okay? 
Either one works. Just want to keep moving. Woo. The booty burn. We're about halfway there, you guys. You got this. Keep it up. Really push yourself. Keep breathing. 15 seconds. My legs are literally on fire. 10 seconds. Let's go, team. And five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Oh my God. Quads. Catch your breath. We have an ab exercise now. Toe touches. Starting in four seconds on our backs. Toes up in the air. Exercise. Shoulders down away from your ears. Just now you're reaching up. Nice little pulses. Touch the toes. Exhale as you reach. If you need to support behind your ears, that's fine. Just don't grab your neck. Good job, you guys. Halfway there. Bring that belly button into the spine. Really squeeze the core. You got this. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! We have one more circuit of this left. And then we're doing some abs and cooling down. So let's really put our full effort into this. All right, you guys, starting with the triceps in four. Three, oh, two. Do I usually give you, no I don't. We don't usually take a break then. We're just going straight through. We're powering through. Last three exercises. I also, because I don't film a lot of workouts in my studio, I forget to always put the air on, so it's like 75 degrees in here or something. I'm sweating, you guys. 15 seconds, you got this. Again, if you need to modify, bring those knees in. Totally fine. There's no better or worse here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Woo. This last circuit, I tried to make a tinge harder to really push ourselves today. Once you get this workout done, if you're done for the rest of the day, feel so good. And four, three, two, one. Exercise. Here we go. Jump lunges, back and forth, or you can do those reverse lunges, that's fine. I've also been trying to go on walks while practicing social distancing. That's been good. Get the step count up. Halfway there, you guys. This is the hardest part of the workout. You can do it. Come on, 15 seconds. Best lunges you've ever done right now. You got it. Keep that form. Less than 10. You got five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Holy moly. Okay, last exercise is our toe touches. Catch your breath. We're starting in four, three, two, one. Exercise. Here we go, last 40 seconds of work, you guys. We got this. We're gonna feel so good after. Exhale, exhale, exhale. You got it. We're about halfway there. You guys, 10 seconds. Keep breathing. You got this. Three, two, one. Yes. Oh, take a break. Grab some water. Great job, you guys. We're going to do some core together to finish this off. It'll be workout pause. It'll be good to finish on, feel our core engage. Take a second here, grab some water. Okay, so we are gonna do, I'm thinking, three sets of V-ups. Let's go for 12 reps and we're just gonna go for form, okay? So I want you guys to just really focus on your form and we're gonna pause for one second at the top. So just to demo what this looks like, you're still resting, starting out, body is nice and long. There's gonna be two variations. One, you reach up, straight leg V-up, Hold for a second, back down. 
Okay, so this is one variation. Keeping your legs straight as possible. Other variation, knees are bent, you're coming in and out. This is an easier variation, so you can always start with straight legs and then move into bent knee if you like, or you can just start with, uh, you can just do them the whole time, whatever's available to you. The important thing is you want to feel it in your core, not straining your neck. You want to keep the shoulders down and back, chest nice and lifted. We're going to do 12 really good reps. Pause one second at the top. I'll be counting it down. We'll take a break and we'll repeat it a couple more times, okay? All right, you guys, laying down on your back. Take a deep breath in. We're starting in three, two, one. Here we go. We got one. Pause and up. Two, keep those shoulders down and away. Three, you got this. Four, I'm hungry. Five, I'm definitely gonna eat a big breakfast after this. Six, seven, good, shoulders down. You got it. Eight, nine, holding at the top. That extra pause, you guys. 10, last two. 11, one more. Let's go team. Hold, three, two, one. Whew. Relax, oh my gosh. That's a good one for the ab, little abbies. We're gonna do one more rep of that. Sorry, <laughs> 12 more reps, one more set. And then we'll have a nice chill pull cool down together. All right, you guys, you ready? Couple of breaths, lying on your back. Let's finish off strong together, hands above the head. Here we go, in three, two, one, reaching up, hold, and down. Two, hold, down. Three, hold, down. Four, good job you guys. Five, excellent on the way up. Remember you can bend your knees if you need, but try to keep form halfway there. We got six, good job you guys. Five, nice and slow. Four, legs straight. Three, two, good job, you guys. Last one, hold, 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 three, two, one, my legs are shaking, Whew. Oh, and you're done. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, let's flip over, and knees wide on your mat. We're gonna do a child's pose. Oh, feels good, right? Just laying back, send the hips back, keep the hands pulling you forward, getting a nice stretch in your torso, just a couple deep breaths. I'm just sitting with how you feel right now. Take a moment to kind of take inventory of your body and how it feels post-workout. Does it feel good? Does it feel tired? Do you feel less anxious? Good, let's come up to a tabletop position. Let's do some cat cows together. Rounding and flexing the spine. Ooh, at your own pace. This is totally on your own time now. Just doing a few good spine articulations. Getting a nice stretch in the abs. Good. Moving into some hip flexor and ab stretch. Right here, stretching those abs. And then coming back down. We're gonna do this a few times. Let's go to the hips as well. Coming back. Good, let's tuck those toes under. Come back into downward dog, pedal out the feet. Here we go. Press back. And let's bring one foot up into the air, thread it through with some pigeon, open up the hips. This one always feels really good. Coming down if you want, if it's available to you. Good, pressing back in the downward dog, bringing up the left leg now, threading it through. Coming down, stretching that hip. I'm 
so excited you guys. Gary and I are moving into our new apartment. It's in the same building, but we have to move ourselves um, on Sunday. So we're gonna start packing. It's gonna be boxes all up in here. But what I'm most excited about, let's press back in the downward dog, is just showing you guys all the design. I'm gonna film a complete like before and after of the new apartment. Let's walk our hands back to our feet. It'll be really fun. It'll be like a New York apartment renovation slash I'm calling it reno, but it's literally like a DIY by April project. So let's set our standards a little lower. <laughs> Good, let's slowly roll up. Five, four, three, two, one. Come to standing and quad stretch since we did good amount of leg stuff. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this, um, if you like design and like interior design and you want to see the mood boards for the space, I've been like kind of teasing some on my Instagram and everyone loves it on Instagram. Um, I love design personally, so it's gonna be really, it's gonna be fun. It's a good project to like distract ourselves right now. Last one, we're gonna do a little hip stretch. So you're gonna go wide stance with your feet, you're gonna bend over and then just press one knee out if this is available to you. It's okay, let me show you the front view. It's okay if this feels weird. You don't have to do it. Just opening up the hip flexors on either side, which are normally pretty tight from sitting all day. Back and forth a few times, stretching the hamstrings. And that's it, you guys. This was so fun. I hope that you guys are enjoying working out with me on YouTube. Leave a comment below on what kind of workout you wanna see next. Please give this a like if you enjoyed it, if you did the workout, and um, post your sweaty selfies on Instagram, tag me, Smalletics, and subscribe to Smalletics for more content tailored to petite women, and high five you guys. I will see you guys next week. I hope that you are staying healthy and safe. Love you guys, bye.